Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make homemade ketchup. Oh yeah, this is super easy to make and super delicious. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. So get a medium sauce pot and we will add 12 ounces of tomato paste. And these come in like six ounce cans a lot of times. So let's put the tomato paste in here. And now half teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a half cup of water, one cup of white distilled vinegar. That is where the tanginess in tanginess in ketchup comes from, is from the vinegar, and the sweetness comes from either sugar or corn syrup. So we'll add corn syrup. This is a half of a cup of corn syrup. And if you don't want to use corn syrup, use something like agave syrup, or in like other countries, a golden syrup. And we'll just give this a little stir here. All right, now over to the stovetop burner we go. Set the heat to medium, and we are just going to stir occasionally and bring this mixture to a boil. You can tell already that it is looks like ketchup. Now we just need to reduce it. And once it's starting to show some signs of a little bit of bubbles here, we want to make sure to stir often so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Also at this point, I'm going to give it a taste and blow on it because it's hot. Mmm, that's good. And if you want it just a little bit sweeter, I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar. And then you could add more sugar if you want. You could add a little bit more corn syrup, but try it like that first, depending on how sweet you like your ketchup. Okay, and once we get it to a nice, really, really nice bubbles here, boy, bubbly like this, all nice and bubbly, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the heat down to low, and then we're just going to let it sit and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, just so it can reduce a little bit further. I mean, you'll just come in occasionally and give it a nice stir. All right, and after it has reduced and gotten thicker, like that, we're gonna turn it off, turn the heat off. And that was about 20 minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat off, and then I'm gonna cover it and just let it sit at room temperature for 30 minutes to 45 minutes until it cools down to room temp. And then we put it in the refrigerator and chill it until we wanna use it. And once the homemade ketchup cools down, I'm going to take it and pour it in this mason jar for storage. I'll get the rest of that out later. And then just store it in the fridge let it cool down even more and chill and it'll thicken up even more. I've got some homemade steak fries here and some leftover McDonald's fries that I just heated up in the air fryer. Awesome. Give this a taste. Yeah. Mmm. There you go, super easy, homemade ketchup. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, press it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this some more. Mm -mm -mm.